Ja, daar ben ik weer, Floor. En uh, Theo mag weer los. <laughs> Floor is back. Uh, she never asked me any hairstyle, so I just she lost short hair <laughs> and bright colors. So now she's back to have a new hairstyle. Yes. Huh. Hello friends on YouTube. Got me a floor. <laughs> a floor really loves short hair. But that you can see because a lot of you would think, they got your headdresses, it's so nice. Yes, it is. <laughs> but when you love short hair, you love short hair. And when you love ultra short hair in the pixie styles, it's even worse. Start of course with protection, like I always do. Wetting the hair. It's a bit dry in the end, so I put a little bit of conditional spray on it. This is the leave-in. I mostly do this with the short hair because then the moist also stays longer in the hair. I have a little bit of disconnect on the back. Asymmetrical lines. The last time we had a ultra short fringe on the front. It looks very nicely on there. Always a lot of weight on this side, so I can slice that a little bit off. And this time I think I go for a stronger line of the longer part. Okay, turn it so you can see where I'm going. Now I've, she, she saw a video of mine with a high bob. Now I'm not gonna make a high bob, of course, but I can make something that's related to it because I can start by growing the hairs because then we have to grow the hairs to both sides a bit and m make it possible in the future to do this. So I'm gonna work on that. Take me a fine sharp scissor. When I want to create that I need first of course a line to start on. So the hard line I'm gonna create on this side create as first not going too deep into the hairs but creating that sharp line that I told you Come softly through the hairs and see what's happening. You can get in the underlines then. Come to the back. Have myself this line, so go in from the side, create the same line, and a bit off the center. Knowing that I have to grow this part, so I leave this in that length. Gonna work out on the lines. Take myself a clipper. I work the hairs up till I get on the line of cutting. Put my bed to the back, use it as a comb. Create a nice soft contour line. And also notice every movement of the hairs that go into the lines in the opposite way. You can hardly see it, but I'm pulling on my uh, comb to get the hair straight out of the skin. Create 
three heads and also a sharp side blade. A small clipper. And clean the control line. Soften the weight a bit, so go in, lift up, take an ultra nice thinning scissor and soften the line a bit. Not too much because we are starting to grow the hairs. You can see them grow. Grow many. <laughs> Okay, getting over to the other side. Oh, it's an uh, skin. Yeah. It's our best, really good. Skin stays. Yeah. Mm Put my blade to the back again. Got my in the opposite lines. Work till I get in the line of cutting. I can't think all the way now before the hand. Een hema heb je van die poppen zonder kop, van die oh, paspoppen. Ja. Ik zit, of, nee, ik weet niet. Maar bij de hema of ergens anders is geweest. Mijn Nona die uh, was laatst uh, in de winkel met haar. Mama, die heeft geen hoofd. Ja. Nee, dan had ze iets van, kan dat nou Ja, dat kan dat. Ja, dat deed ze in de middeleeuwen. <laughs> Ja, voor kinderen is dat moeilijk te snappen inderdaad. Ik heb er ook wel eens gehad dat ik in de trein aan het oefenen was met mijn oefenkop en dat het kind ook schrok omdat ik het hoofd tussen mijn knieën had staan. En die dacht dat dat ook een dood iemand was. <laughs> dat snap ik. Los hoofd. Ja. Nou, wel heel vriendelijk zonder bloed en zo. Ja, zeker. Maar zo ben ik zonder bloed. <laughs> You see, I created the ultra soft neckline, but that you see afterwards much better because the hairs are now a little bit in the blonde lines, and it makes them a little bit darker, of course. Okay, the last time we had a tattoo line over here, so you can still see the tattoo line. So now I connect this line to that line, just in my mind. So I take up in that line and hold this side ultra soft. In the other lines I use a clipper again. But I'm going to connect to the parting line of the ultra short fringe on the front. And I really love the sound of the scissors. Mm. Still do. I think it's magical. Mindful for me. <laughs> yeah, for yours. It's a mind, uh, mind thing. Like a hypnosis.
to my comrade. Get to the small house on the front. Yeah. Now we're not a new at all. Ah, we are now what doing on the tour. The event is always easy to do with Madonna. But not. Yeah, it's a direct face to Africa. See, I hold some length in the side bit. In the rounding of the ears, you can see that I'm pushing on the hairs. Take the ear down. Take only the tip of my clipper, clean the control line. Clean this and I go to the upper hair. Now I know that we are going to grow the hair a bit. Go and see where, where it ends because she really loves short hairs. So I take off only the tips of the hairs. Her color is, uh, is of course a cup color, but she holds us on this color by uh, Lakme conditioner, copper. They have real nice conditioners on color. So your color lasts longer. Go in the turn. Show you that in a second. Lady has in the running. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, can you zoom? Take the ass up. Lay them in the running. Give them the shape of the eyebrow. So they travel in the same way to the back. And it gives ultra fine graduation to the back. Softens the blonde line a bit. Coming behind the ears, take the hairs up in the line of the hairstyle, always pointing to the center line, do so with the tip of my fingers. Make the line more perfect. Yeah, it's been a Christmas now. <laughs> Kijk idee, hè? Dat valt toch wel heel hard, hè? Het gaat heel hard. Alles gaat hard. Nou, wij zitten thuis nu helemaal in Sinterklaas. Dus, uh... Leuk, ja. We zitten klaar, ook geweldig. Ja, Rol aan het vijf. Dus ik ben benieuwd hoe dat verder gaat. <laughs> Ja, het is heel nuchter. Ja, 
laat zich allebei niet zoveel gek maken. Dat, uh, nou, gelukkig maar. Dat scheelt. Uh. Coming around the splitting of the hairs. So there, we are going to grow the hairs to the front. Always take off ultra fine part because then I have a better end on the ass. Come to I clean afterwards. Going to uh, the short fringe. I still love the short fringe because uh, she has a lot of hair on the front. So this I correct only online, so that I have perfect line, and then I thin it out a bit. And here I could do something with colors, of course. Coming to my thinning scissor with shark teeth. Nice thing is you never pull the hairs. But they also have a nice soft line. Never create a line of cutting. Showing you the thesis of this scissor. She is a bit shocky. Hmm. Clean her face of all the small hairs. And then I'm gonna make her a collar. Putting on the protection for coloring. Start of course with a towel. Okay. Plastic foil. Okay, created, created uh, some colors. Starting with the darkest color, it's black. Made this with uh, 3% of stand volume. is on the short hairs. Lifting up the hairs, put it only in the underline. Make photo of the products I used into the video so you can see which products I had in this video. Lay the hairs aside. Come to this line, parted it in a natural fold. Doesn't matter that there is a black beneath it because this color is a purple color. And go a little bit over the center on the back. On the black into the purple. 
to create a softness into the line. Layer foil over this purple color. Take out clips, take out a comb and apply the red color. Red color is also at uh, 20 volume, 6%. In the underline, lay a carton wig. And then I can twist my colors over on this side and onto the foils and so I do all I have. Steeds een mooi geluid bij stratenmakers. Hm. Dit is ook weer een mooi geluid. Wat oh, weet je wat een mooi geluid is? Ja. Uh, is uh, blaadjes en bomen die zingen. Mm. Ik heb laatst paddenstoelen gehoord. God, die zingen mooi hè? Oh. Die maken echt hele mooie muziek. Hoe hoor je dat dan? Ja, met een heel gevoelig apparaat. Dat zet je dan op één paddenstoel bijvoorbeeld, op een stam. Ja. En dan ga je een andere paddenstoel zoeken en dan zet je het ook op. En dan gaan die paddenstoelen die gaan met elkaar een soort muziek maken. <laughs> en dat, dat klinkt heel hemelse muziek is dat. Heel zacht, heel vriendelijk. Ja, een goede kinderfilm. Uh... Ja, dat is echt, echt gaaf. Als in de underline, the last two centimeters, about an inch. I do it. The uh, purple color. So in the underlines is a purple, the upper lines is a red color, and the darkest line in the underline and the contour is black. This cover up with the carter wig again. Put also some carter wigs on the contour line so it doesn't make the lines dirty because it's black. Lay the upper hair open. The more air there is between the colors, the better the color develops. This is close up, and then we go in for coffee and tea. You just stay there. We'll be back in less than a second. Don't go away. Check. Okay, we're back from coloring. Now before I come blow dry the hairs, clean the small hairs of the contour. Took a little bit shaving cream because her skin is a bit sensitive. So I have a little bit more moist. So you can see there's the shaving cream on. And makes shaving a lot easier of course. Especially when you have short hair like this, it's very nice to see clean lines. 
when customers uh, in my salon ask me to do this in between, I always do this because I think it's a bit of the service we gave. Especially when your partner doesn't want to do this. Clean lines, get rid of my shaving cream, because hair is also a bit dry normally, I take a curly product, so you take curly fine, take a small amount, just add some more moist into the hairs, and it's a really nice smelling product. Mm, yeah. This I brush through the hairs with my copy Olivia Garden brush. And then a couple of dry hair. Coming in the back, building up. And this styling product gives us a nice smooth feeling. That's actually the owl. So far, blow drying. Yes, you did. Come the Of this, uh, I use of Lac May a polish. It's an ultra soft wax. Brings out the glow nicely. And it's in line with the colors, of course, because it's the same brand. Of the denk dat het water komt weer weer. En dan niet? Ja, genoeg geluiden hier. Ja. Kijk eens uit hier. Nee, is helemaal mooi. Oké, dit is Floor's new hairstyle, new color. Thank you for watching. We see each other next video. She will certainly turn around and you will certainly see her back because she really loves to go to the hairdressers. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Moist rack, how's it? Dankjewel. Ja, daar ben ik weer, Floor. En uh, Theo mag weer los. <laughs> Floor is back. Uh, she never asked me any hairstyle, so I just. She loves short hair <laughs> and bright colors. So now she's back to have a new hairstyle. Yes.